respiratory acidosis causes and treatment respiratory acidosis is when breathing out does not remove enough carbon dioxide from the body and the leftover carbon dioxide causes high levels of acid in the blood many medical conditions and situations can lead to this chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD is the name for a group of diseases that are particularly likely to cause respiratory acidosis in this video we look at we look at the causes symptoms and treatment options what is respiratory acidosis respiratory acidosis refers to high levels of acid in the blood due to increased levels of carbon dioxide in the body carbon dioxide is a waste gas that a person with a healthy respiratory system exhales if this gas remains in the body it can shift the natural balance of acids and bases carbon dioxide mixes with water in the body to form carbonic acid when respiratory acidosis is chronic or lasting the body partially makes up for the retained carbon dioxide by trying to maintain a near natural balance of acids and bases carbonic acid dissolves into hydrogen and bicarbonate the kidneys excrete more hydrogen and retain bicarbonate to compensate for respiratory acidosis respiratory acidosis can also be acute developing suddenly from acute respiratory failure when the acidosis is acute and severe a person needs emergency medical treatment to restore healthy breathing restore the acid base balance treat the cause of the respiratory failure acid base balance and acidosis when acid levels in the body are in balance with the base levels the potential hydrogen or pH of blood is around 7.4 a lower potential potential hydrogen or pH number reflects higher levels of acid and a higher pH number represents higher, higher base levels the narrow pH range of expected function is between 7.35 to 7.45 acidemia which is highly acidic blood occurs when the pH of the blood is lower than 7.35 alkalemia which is blood with a high level of base refers to a pH higher than 7.45 causes doctors classify acidosis as either metabolic or respiratory depending on the main cause of the acid base imbalance metabolic acidosis does not result from increased carbon dioxide due to unhealthy air exchange in the lungs instead it may stem from an overproduction of acid in the body or a loss of bicarbonate among other factors diabetic ketoacidosis and kidney disease as well as many other conditions can cause metabolic acidosis respiratory acidosis occurs when breathing out does not breathing out does not get rid of enough of carbon dioxide the increased carbon dioxide that remains result in overly acidic blood this can result from respiratory problems such as COPD when increased carbon dioxide in the bloodstream stems from respiratory acidosis doctors call this hypercapnia in people with chronic respiratory acidosis hypercapnia can persist without the level of acid in the blood becoming dangerous because of the body's responses to compensate the kidneys get rid of more acid and 
reabsorb more base to try and restore a balance. Immediate medical attention is necessary if this kidney response is no longer enough to maintain the balance of acids and bases. A person should also receive urgent medical attention if acute respiratory acidosis results from respiratory failure. Symptoms The symptoms of respiratory acidosis stem from the effects of raised carbon dioxide levels. The symptoms of chronic respiratory acidosis are less noticeable than those of acute respiratory acidosis because in chronic cases the body compensates to keep to help keep the blood pH or potential hydrogen balanced. In the blood of people with in chronic respiratory acidosis the acidifying effect of raised carbon dioxide might reduce. However, the compensatory actions of the kidneys are not as effective for acid levels in the brain, leading to symptoms that affect thought, sleep and memory. These symptoms can include headache, memory loss, sleep disturbance, anxiety, personality changes. In people with acute respiratory acidosis or chronic respiratory acidosis that worsens over time, the effects of raised carbon dioxide in the brain become more severe. Symptoms can include confusion, drowsiness, stupor, muscle jerking. jerking. In these cases, the blood rapidly becomes more acidic and dangerous. Effects of a drastically low potential hydrogen or pH in the blood include reduced heart muscle function, disturbances in heart rhythm, producing arrhythmias, a drop in blood pressure. Treatment Managing chronic respiratory acidosis focuses on treating the underlying illness that disrupts the breathing process and exchange of gases. A doctor may also give treatments to improve respiration, including drugs that help open the passages to the lungs. For people with acute respiratory acidosis, doctors can provide non-invasive positive pressure ventilation called BIPAP through a face mask. This directly assists breathing. In more severe cases, a doctor improves respiration by inserting a tube into the airway for mechanical ventilation. Prevention A person can take steps to support healthy lung function and prevent respiratory acidosis. For anyone with a long-term respiratory illness such as asthma or COPD, close management and monitoring are essential for maintaining a good quality of life and avoiding further health problems. Also, for people with chronic respiratory problems, it can be important to avoid medications that reduce respiratory activity. such as benzodiazepines and extremely strong pain relief medications including opioids. This can help reduce the risk of an acid-base imbalance developing or worsening. People who need these medications should take the smallest effective doses. And because smoking tobacco has a strong association with developing COPD, reducing tobacco exposure is a crucial way to limit the risk of other respiratory problems. Meanwhile, obesity can reduce the ability to breathe efficiently and increase the risk of heart disease and diabetes. Having a balanced, nutritious diet and getting regular exercise benefit both the heart and lungs.